So this is the new touch nightstand that I just finished. I apologize for the video being dark. I actually have it on purpose so that you can see the uh, the lights that I'll show in a minute. The uh, the nightstand is just a sort of classic nightstand design, but underneath each of the edges there is a touch strip. I don't know if you can see it there, and all of them have it. So there's one here, one on the front, and then there's also one over here on the left. And they're capacitive touch strips so that when you tap them, the first tap will turn on sort of a soft light that comes from underneath here. I don't know if you can see it, that's sort of like you're going to the bathroom light. And if you pause for a while and touch it again, then it'll just go off. But if you do a double tap, then your full lamp goes on. And then the last tap, of course, will turn it off. So double tap to turn on the lamp, tap to turn it off, or tap to turn on the light, and it actually fades on. If you wait, you're coming back, hit it again, it fades back off again. And the same thing happens for the drawer. There's actually a magnetic reed sensor on the back and a magnet on the drawer, so when you open the drawer, now your drawer is lit. You can see that's actually pretty bright. And so the other cool thing is that these, you know, right now it looks kind of rainbowish, but it's actually just a regular RGB LED. Uh, and the way that they're configured is also by using a touchpad. So I'll show you with the drawer. So the 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 uh, the first touchpad here on the left is for red, and if you hold it. So I'm touching and holding right now. Now you can see that it's getting, it's basically cycling through a high red value there, all the way down to a low value. And then the middle one here is the green. So if I touch that, I get more green, and then less green. And so like right there, it's basically all blue. And if I were to touch the blue one here on the right and hold it, then this would actually just get dimmer and dimmer you might see the trace amounts of the others that are still left. But I could also hold it and have it get brighter if I wanted to, or have it just be all blue, or any combination in between. And then this one also fades, so you can see if I close it, that'll fade. Oh, the other thing is the, the drawer itself is a soft closed drawer. So when you fling it shut, it catches itself, shut slowly. Fades on when you open it. And the other great thing is that this, uh, all the electronics in here, uh, except for the 120 volt stuff with the lamp, are actually battery backed up. So your power goes out, you want to find your flashlight, you can either touch the lamp or touch the, uh, the sides of the, the table and get your sort of um, lighting in the whole room or open the drawer where you might have the flashlight and you can actually see the contents of the drawer thanks to this light and it will operate even if it's not plugged into the, uh, to the wall. And that's pretty much it. So you got these three touch strips, uh, RGB LED on the bottom, RGB LED in the drawer, and then on the back, there's just a hookup for the lamp and a hookup for the USB power is actually what powers the electronics here. And then this goes to the solid state relay. It's a uh, power switch tail. That's a solid state relay that uh, is switching the lamp and then I've just got some Velcro and stuff in here to help with the cable management and then all the electronics are actually on the underside of the lid so the uh, all the there's actually an Arduino powering the whole thing and any sort of auxiliary circuits those are all basically strapped in a tiny little plastic case to the bottom of the lid I think you can probably see it if I remove the drawer or peak underneath here. You can see where the light is coming from. That's basically where the plastic is. That's about it.